Men, elves, dwarves and goblins are here today in Dawnless Days for a glorious 4v4 LAN battle that uh, we, uh, me and some of the subs played not too long ago and my gosh was it a close one. Definitely snack worthy uh, for those of you that uh, do enjoy a, a little snack and a drink with your Total War and this definitely this is popcorn worthy. I definitely would recommend. Uh, sit back, relax and uh, prepare for what is a very close land battle. Seems some amazing sort of tactics, some great charges uh, like destructive archer volleys and some glorious charges from Axe wielding shock infantry as well. And yes, uh, yeah, this 4v4, we have um, a lot of experienced players in this one uh, for Total War. And uh, I'm expecting yeah, some, some uh, good gameplay here. I mean, I do know for a fact that uh, there's some good gameplay. I am playing in this battle, of course. Uh, there's a battle that we did on the stream quite recently. Um, as I'm kind of short on all the stage replays. So I'm kind of using like ones that maybe you guys who didn't see the stream live uh, can watch again and also we can kind of like you know i'm not commentating i'm not microing so i can kind of enjoy the uh the, the battle myself a little bit more but i'm playing as gondor here on my team we also do have uh over here we do have the uh the carnage player uh we have also got uh easterlings and we have a way off on the far side we also have dorwinian as well so um it looks like dorwinian looks like he could be taking on uh in ladris we also have a goblin uh, army here taking on looks like the easterlings and then on this far flank here we have erebor and dale like that old alliance there you know those two fought together side by side many a time and it looks like we're going to see a first bit of contact here it's gonna be between gondor and dale two manish factions taking on each other Usually allies, but today are enemies instead. And I'm expecting uh, the Gondor Cavs should come out on top of that one. They have some chevrons already, uh, like, already given to them. And they should beat these Dalian Cavs. They actually took the first couple of casualties here. They're kind of dying. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought these guys, you know, typically were... Uh, it was, the Gondor Cav was better to the Dalian Cav, but maybe not. Um, looks like also we're going to see very uh, Horse Archers. They're going to get a rear charge here. That should change, the yeah. These uh, very uh, Horse Archers are pretty damn nasty. And are a, a very good hybrid sort of unit, both good at like melee and also obviously good shooting, as that is what they are, you know, primarily used for. Um, but yes, this is uh, one of the battles we did on the stream. If you want to get involved in any stream battles, you're struggling to find some uh, like more play games, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description, as always. Uh, if you want to join Dawn Stage or any Total War sort of like multiplayer player. Uh, battles we have plenty to offer loads of people there always keen to play some battles and those uh, but late time guard actually did get pretty mauled but they did maul up that gondor cab as well actually I don't think it was a really a great and wise idea by me really um we also have like all the carnish cab right now is way in the back uh here so um they're trying to you know keep pressure on them maybe keep cav in the back lines uh for dale um, who's really kind of defending both like Erebor and himself with his like four units of Cav. Um, so he's very much outnumbered on the Cav category here, that is for sure. It looks like they're still carrying on this fight here, even though the pole arms did come forward, they then changed their minds, it seems. Uh, maybe just getting focused down was a little bit too much for them. But yes, uh, if you also haven't uh, checked out the Dawn's Days mod, I recommend you do so. Like, it is definitely worth getting it and. Uh, yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing mod. You can get it uh, on Nexus mods. I'll leave the link for it in the description. It's a pretty easy install. And um, for those of you that have Dawn Stays and probably wondering, how the heck, Pope, have you got Dorwinian and also got uh, Khan? And that it comes with the Last Breath sub mod. Uh, again, I'll leave the link for that in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, that's easy to install. It's on the workshop. Actually, some of the devs are playing in this uh, in this battle. So uh, there's a good friends of mine and uh, they always are down for a couple of games showing off their own uh, sub mod and it's really good it's probably the most balanced uh, sub mod that comes with base mod uh, to be honest uh, Dorwinian and Khan some pretty strong factions both got some very nasty Javi units as well um, which we'll be seeing here looks like we're going to see uh, the Gondor, well, I was going to say the Gondor player, but me, this is, uh, pushing up, going to try and force back the archers. Won that first cav engagement, I was feeling quite good about myself. I was like, we can kind of be a bit more aggressive now. We won that first cav fight. We can now try and go in, and we killed off a lot of these uh, late town guard, and still are killing a lot of these late town guard. Like, these guys are getting absolutely chewed up. 120 of them left out at 140. Uh, and it looks like over here as well, uh, it looks like they might be about to get into combat. Goblin archers, look like they've been taking some... Actually, I said they're taking some shots. 
fire arrows. Don't often see that being used. A very wondrous idea. You need to get off fire ammunition for sure. Does do damage to morale, but uh, you know, not as effective. They definitely should not be firing uh, fire arrows. Uh, but they are, you know, doing some damage. It seems normal arches. I think that might be the uh, uh, maybe not the seafarers. I don't know. Maybe that's rune. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, killing these guys off slowly. But steadily. Uh, we also have uh, Javis have gone into combat here. They still have ammo. They should not be in combat, those kind of sentries. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there. Maybe they're trying to fire, uh, throw their Javis while in combat. I think that might be what they're trying to do. Technically, this is the first infantry fight, I guess. Again, looks like we're going to have shock infantry come forward here. Erebor is setting forward his axe infantry. It's uh, axe guards here. And uh, they're going to easily get shot up. He's not got much that can really protect him from uh, the uh, the archers at the moment. I'm just going to shoot anything that uh, I can easy kill. I mean, I've already done some damage to these Eremith from veterans. They're an elite shock infantry. That's always happy. I'm happy to shoot them. And yeah, there you go. You can see taking some decent damage. Erebor axe guards also, yeah, taking some decent damage. Um, and I'm using like cheap archers like Baku Vale. That's the great thing about like archers in Dawn Stays now. They do a lot of damage to units that don't have any missile block. And it looks like I'm going for a charge here with my, uh, my cab. Going against the uh, Dalian Swords for the Knights of Soul Swan. Not a bad charge. The Knights of Soul Swan as well with their like, rework in like one of the last updates. They just look like a sexy cab unit, that's for sure. I've been thinking that I'd like to try do like a top five like cab units. Uh, I feel like I still need to do like a top five land battle sort of video first. But a top five like uh, like cav unit and um, i maybe would put them in the top five just for looks just for looks they'd get in there uh, it looks like archers are breaking though for the goblins so they are killing off some of these guys whether they could rush them i mean they've got all these uh loki amazement whether they could pull off a little bit of a rush um it seems like the uh, darwinian uh, archers are like these abari wonders which are really good bows are suffering here i wonder whether it was a good idea to bring them whether they should have brought cheaper bows cheaper bows kind of do the same job that your uh, expensive ones do, like these long Minwell seafarers, would have probably lives. been just as good a choice to bring. But it, I think he's obviously focusing on these Avari wonders because they can be used in pretty good like uh, in options. But yeah, look at this! Look through amazement. He should be charging like these uh, goblin heavy archers. I don't know why he's not. Like, look at that massive mistake. What was the Eastern player doing? Should have gone and got those guys. I think he's trying to bait the Vineland men at arms, Javis. Uh, but yeah, he could have easily got those goblin heavy archers there with a bit of a charge. Uh, looks like Khan kind of is being a bit aggressive using these arc spearfish. It's not great infantry, really, and they're definitely not going to beat Erebor. Erebor's infantry is excellent, that is for sure. But yeah, this replay is amazing. You see some factions that you think are so strong get humbled, and then factions that you might think are a little bit more weak showing off their prowess in battle in this one. Yeah, you can see here, even though these Erebor axe warriors are flanking the uh, Wainrider spears there, they're still losing. I think it's because they're getting shot in the back. Well, that's causing them to lose. But the uh, sword infantry for Gondor has all gone in now as well. And they're going in against alien sword infantry. They're pretty much very even, uh, I think. Very much uh, a similar sort of fact, uh, like unit. Same similar stats. Maybe Gondor has slightly better armor. Uh, but he's winning in combat here against uh, Erebor shock infantry. Erebor axe guards. And that's just because the Erebor axes, axe guards have been uh, shot to pieces. Nothing else but that. Shock infantry would usually chew up Gondor sword infantry, like this Erebor shock infantry would anyway. And the Ringo Veil men at arms charging in against late time guards. This unit's so small, it's just worth charging. If it was a much more healthy unit, I'd be like, yeah, don't bother. But that's a tiny little unit, it was, it was going to route very quickly. And now we're into the archers like that, and look at that, those daily marksmen have about a third of their ammo left, and they're not going to be able to use it because they're fighting Ringo. Uh, Ringo Vale men at arms. It's a good win there. There you go. Uh, the rest of the marksmen look like they're going to get out of there. They're going to be able to set up on this hill and just kind of like form a battery of archers, which is a pain. Dale's general is also in combat, violent guard general here. Uh, and we've got cavals are rear charging the back of these uh, dwarves, and they're going to go in there. And their eye is going to turn that combat. I mean, they were losing with Gondor. That should turn it around now, and Erebor should start to win that one quite nicely. Uh, so, well, I, I don't know. I might just said Erebor was going to win that one quite nicely. Erebor should start to lose that one quite nicely, I guess. It depends who you're rooting for. Um, but yes, you can see here, nice silver swan. Now going to be able to go up that hill. We've also got the horse archers here tying down these archers. Even if they don't kill them off, they'll uh, they'll tie down the archers and they'll stop from shooting at my uh, my precious cow, which is trying to keep alive. Again, good charge here by the knights of the silver swan into the archers, causing these units to. to 
lose and dive goal scored gondol swords and they're tying them down how is the other side going it's looking like it's going okay looks like door has been quite aggressive on the side door infantry here getting chewed up what by Noldorian swords it should be a good charge here by the general though into the side of the swords uh seems like at the last the last minute did he pull out i don't know i feel like at the last minute he pulled out and maybe to try and counter charge these Noldorian swords which are going in and taking on what are these Constable to Dorwinian, very cheap infantry. They are not going to do a lot, as for sure. I feel like Dorwinian put a lot of his money into his uh, archers. We'll see how that pulls off. I mean, it's got probably some deep. Yeah, Constable to Dorwinian, what are these? Avari warriors. Good at holding the line, these uh, spears. And they have got pretty good melee like attacks. They've got like 43 melee attack. So they are pretty good, but uh, more want to hold the line with them. You don't want to be aggressive with them. Uh, their melee damage only like 27. They are only through these underground wardens here though. I don't know. Oh, and they've got archers in combat. These uh, uh, violent men at arms, they want to throw their javies before they get to be used in anything else. Like they just javy onto the side of these uh, goblin spear warriors here. They could do some serious damage. Same with the violent men at arms here. Like they should have just javied. Stand in front and just javy stuff. They'll, they'll kill these, uh, these spear warriors off very, very quickly. Um, so that's a bit of a mistake there from Dorwinium. That is for sure. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, slowly but surely Dale is being mopped up on this side. His general, actually, the Violent Guard general here, getting surrounded down to less than 50 men, being surrounded by Knights of Silver Swan and Gondol Swords. Dalian Swords are starting to get surrounded over here by their Gondorian cousins. And it also looks like, yeah, I mean, Khan's also, you know, he's taken a lot of uh, flack. Uh, from the uh, dwarves and it also looks like the elves are now over here with their Noldorian rangers these guys are absolute killers they would possibly be my number one best cap you know they possibly are uh, i could probably spoil that uh, that video when i eventually do it um by showing off but there are some good cap units in this uh, in this battle and they are definitely amongst the top top if not top three lives. definitely top uh one if not top one top three absolutely uh really, really good unit the Noldorian. It says it's a light bow cav. There's Noldorian rangers. They're not. Their arm is insane, and they don't die. General a general is the dead. Uh, who have they managed to kill off? Oh, it's the dwarven general, I think. Dwarven general has been killed. Uh, Dane Ironfoot here, yeah, has been slain, and now Erebor Halberd dies. I mean, this isn't really an issue, to be honest, for uh, the dwarves. They don't give a damn that Dane's dead. Their morale's pretty solid anyway. I mean, what we still got here: Erebor spear guards, crossbows, and uh, and combat and aerial help it is and of course the uh, Noldorian range is still trying to harass and you know do some damage got Arca chosen here they're being surrounded this is a really good melee cap though unit so you should hopefully hold up these uh these Noldorian rangers we'll see really I need to get cab over here and I think at this moment I was I was like get these knights of the silver swan over here and just start dashing towards the uh the Elven Cab, we've got to deal with it. Arc Chosen are getting sliced and diced, that is a problem. Uh, again, Cab enemy. over here, can we sweep it round? I need to be a bit more uh, proactive with my cavalry, get it moving. But we are dealing with Dale quite nice. Dale is basically routed on this side. I think at this moment, um, Dorwinian, did, the player that was playing Dorwinian, crashed, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, as you can see, yeah, his general's dead. I think he sent it, like, well, he didn't send it, but the AI sent it on a suicide charge against the Elves. Um, so yeah, Dorwinian looks like he's getting mopped up. Eastlings could get 2 v one here if uh, their allies don't get over quickly enough. It's kind of turning into a bit of a swivel match. Uh, really, yeah, Khan and Gondor need to get a shuffle on uh, so they can come and help Eastlings deal with the goblins and what is, uh, well, what remains of Imladris, but a pretty healthy Imladris, I think, is what it is. These two armies are pretty healthy. Dorwinian kind of went in, and uh, Eastlings hasn't really uh, committed a lot yet. Uh, the cab as well, look at that retreating, getting out of there. They're not, they're not staying around. But those Noldorian rangers murdered the Ark Chosen. It's unfortunate. As I was just getting my cab onto this scene to deal with the uh, the rangers, they would have like absolutely obliterated them as well. Even if they're good cab. I mean, the shock cab on a charge should be Noldorian rangers. But Wayne Rider Spears here. I mean, they're stabbing these uh, halberdiers in the back. And... Like, we'll, uh, we'll zoom out, we'll come out. These al they are losing, but they're barely dying. They are, these halberdiers are like, yeah, I don't give a damn. If you're stabbing me in the back, Wayne Riders, uh, it's not good enough. I mean, to be fair, it is uh, a spear unit. They're actually losing as well. That's insane. Carnage Berserkers are winning, though. And yeah, my cab and a lot of my infantry now uh, shuffling this way, going towards 
the uh, the fight that's taking place over here. But this is not a good sign at all. Look at this. We've got uh, Noldorian Rangers rear charging. Rear charging all those macemen. I don't know why they committed uh, to the Halberds here. I mean, the Halberds, yeah, they are kind of like dying. They're losing decisively. But uh, it's allowing. He, this, this whole move is allowed. And he should be moving back these uh, these, uh, these macemen as well. Um, it's, look at this. Noldorian Rangers are mopping up stuff. And there's nothing you can send in. Like those chariots, which he's got... Uh, are not going to stop Cav. They're actually pretty terrible against Cav. And all the archers have been routed. That is horrific. Yeah, these uh, Runic archers here. I think they got some decent kills, but they're not going to hold against the Cav charge. And here we go. I think he's gone in. And yeah, these guys have insane charge bonus. I mean, they could do... They, could, they got debuff once. I wonder if they need debuffing again. I do wonder. Yeah, Noldorian Rangers... Getting an absolutely just obliterated there by Maceman. Looks like they're reorganizing. It looks like they've got a big cordon of pole arms forming up over here. I, just because they're, well, they have a whole cordon of pole arms really forming up bar on this, uh, this flank over here where Elrond is. And I guess that's because they're just worried about all the Gondorian cav and the Carnish cav that's still alive. Uh, they definitely, even though they have some good cav to the. Uh, the elves and the goblins. It's a weird alliance that's left at the end. They do have some good cav left in those rangers, but they only have the two. It's a very much outnumbered. Balance power is in favor of uh, Gondor and its allies. The goblins the ever so slightly uh, have a disadvantage, but they have the numbers. 31,000 against 26,000, we'll call it, though it is dropping slightly. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely... It's in favor of Gondor, but only just. It can definitely easily be turned around. And you can see the Noldorian Rangers here. They, they, I think they're coming over for uh, for a little charge. They definitely see some units stretched. I mean, these swords are kind of being left behind. The poor guys are exhausted from previous fights. They're uh, not as fresh as these, well, literally, these Noldorian Rangers fresh. I don't think they ever, like, I think they're immune to fatigue, really. These guys are insane. But here he goes, charging on forward. I think he's going to get good charge here on these Ringlow Vale. These veterans of the battle, they've already killed plenty of Dalian men. Now they're going to get charged by elves. Yeah, there you go. Not a bad charge, to be honest, from, uh, from Imladris. And another one going in here against Gondor Swords. Ah, yeah. Not a bad charge either. I mean, didn't do as much damage. The Ringo Vale certainly suffered a lot more. Uh, Ally has been fully routed. I think that's maybe Dorwinian out of the game, I think. I think Dorwinian has gone and also Erebus has gone. So both sides have lost uh, one player. Dale is basically gone. He has like one cav left. But we best remember it. It's a 36-man cav unit. It's very important. Very important. Uh, cav is king in Dawn's days. Uh, so actually, they do have three cav units. I said earlier they have two. They have actually got three. Dalian Cav is still alive. But, uh, yeah, who knows for how long. It has no general, so morale is low. Might come for another charge to these Noldorian Rangers. Uh, so the Gondor Cav is kind of getting shifted there. Yeah, looks like, it look, looks like they're going to go for it. And if they, uh, they feel like they can't get a charge off, they can always just do this anyway. They can just start shooting at stuff. And that's exactly what they're doing, shooting the Gondor Cav. Gondor Cav might have... Yeah, it was close. I don't think they would have. These guys are light bow cab. They, I think they used to be very light. They were even quicker. But yeah, they're now just lights. I could be wrong. Or maybe they were like, used to be very heavy. I can't remember. It was one or the other. They either were very light or they were very heavy for a bit. And then they have now been reverted to light bow. Um, I guess which help, kind of helps and like justifies their speed. But yeah, they are just harassing Gondor now. So I'm going to fast forward a bit because um, having played in this battle... Um, I can tell you that this is not a dead period, but all it really is is Noldorian Rangers just shooting. They're going to use all of their ammunition before anything else really happens. So actually, I might make a cut here, and uh, we'll wait and see uh, what, what happens when these Noldorian Rangers are all out of ammo. Because there isn't anything happens. I could, uh, a bit of a spoiler, we don't catch these guys. They're too quick. We can't catch them. Uh, we can shoot them a bit with our archers, but that is literally it. It's really all there is to do to counter these uh, these horse archers. You just shoot them. Uh, they are light bows, but even still, they have pretty good armor. They're elven armor. They are dropping a bit. 33. They're down to. They might drop a bit more. They're also silver chevron. I don't know if they've earned those. Well, that one's certainly earned the silver because that one's on triple bronze. But yeah, they're, they're so good. They are. But yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in a moment when we uh, well, re-engage with the enemy. So here we are, we are back. So, uh, yeah, basically nothing happened. Those uh, Noldorian archers, they use up 
Chopper and just to use all their ammo. <laughs> they didn't get many more kills, to be honest. They didn't really do uh, too much damage. Just annoyed our army, shot a few cavalry, uh, and shot our infantry. But yeah, and as you can see now, in Ladris and also the Goblins have shifted forward. The Goblins have plenty of ammo, or well, not plenty, but a decent amount left for all of their units. And they can always just have um, them focus down one unit at a time, and they still have the Javis. Snarga Javis here with plenty of ammunition as well. That can do a lot of damage to my uh, my cavalry, which even though, while it's still healthy, yeah, they'll get decimated by that cat, by those archers. So yeah, need to be careful of that. A Noldorian swordsman here look like they're going to get charged. I uh, will get charged in. Yeah, they're going in for uh, these Gondorian swords. Shock infantry on a charge here should do pretty well. Cavs going in, not uh, very uh, glances. Kind of got stuck. What's he go? He's going to go for those archers, and he might get through. There you go, he is in. He managed to get to the archers, kind of slow them down. Uh, he might, he's going to wrap the Goblin Spear Warrior as well. Look at good charge there from the Locker and Maceman. Yeah, there you go. There is a gap in the line now. And now they need to flood through to the players and try and just get in amongst these archers and cause some havoc. If they can like, break in from the inside out, they've got a good chance of victory. We'll see, though. There you go. Not more cap getting a decent charge there, but it's against like guardsmen and ladders. These are super, super elite swords. And they've got good armor. And more wavering units here. Underground wardens are starting to break. Oh, a lot of goblin heavy archers as well here. Starting to break. Get a good, like, uh, good charge onto them. That'll be even better, but I don't know if we will. They are master, well, not master routing, but they are breaking these units here. Now, running down the line, you know, breaking up these uh, goblin spear warriors. We need to get a charge off with the cav, maybe. Do some damage to them. Uh, Cav looks like he's got in behind. Managed to get in behind and get a rear charge onto these uh, Noldorian swords. Doesn't look like it makes much of a difference though. And all that's been achieved has been pinned down by these rangers that are still getting kills. It's so frustrating to see more shock and for wards of rune are being thrown in. These elite shock and retreat of, uh, of the Easterlings going in. And guards of Imladris being uh, thrown in here. The Knights of Silver Swan going in, trying to get a side charge onto those uh, guards and like, just not really achieving much. Trying to get out of there, go for maybe a second charge. Wards of Rune are being thrown in down the line, trying to help against these uh, Goblin Spear Warriors. I think, uh, I think Khan's general might have died because Khan is like master out of all of a sudden. We have managed to pin down one of these damn rangers though, you can see over here, and the Khanish uh, horse archers. And also some of the Gondor Cavalry, well, they might finally deal with these rangers that have just caused nightmares for this uh, coalition of uh, forces that we have uh, left. I mean, it looks like uh, Gondor is in a stalemate here and it's going to get beaten by these guardsmen and ladrists. There's not much we can do, they're just healthy. And Gondor infantry, A, is outmatched by it anyway. And then it's also, well, yeah, it's just not as... It's just, it's just, uh, it's just beaten up. Oh, that's not good. I saw this one there managed to get tied down. That they need to get out of there. Get out of there. They want to get tied in against these uh, Goblin Spear Warriors. That is for sure. For Over on this side here, we have the general for these things going in. This Wayne Rider Chief. I don't know why he's in the sin like this. I don't know. He should have possibly had like uh, this unit just like as a base unit and then had the general as his wall to ruin. He didn't send them into the end anyway. Yeah, these Wayne Rider Chiefs just got absolutely annihilated. I don't know how many kills they get. It, they definitely need a buff, I think, in my opinion. These guys, just, the chariots do not get that great kills. Um, they're not really of great use. Um, but as you can see, a Dale Recover Regiment is going to get a rear charge onto these Berserkers, Khan's Berserkers. I think it's one of the final units that might be alive for Khan. Got a good charge as well, actually. Goldroy is going to just, like, pin them down. But that Dale Cab unit, it's done its job. It might kill off that Khan's Berserker. It's a healthy Khan's Berserker as well. Shame. But they might break through there. Once they kill that off that cab, there isn't much left. There's just a ranger that's like slightly there. And then they're into these uh, these archers. You can see the pikes and the uh, and the goblin king here trying to protect all the archers, which are still very key. They still have a lot of ammo. They're focusing down this wall of the room, which is, uh, well, it's starting to lose now, but it was slicing up this goblin spear warrior. And it looks like Gondor's going in over here, getting a good charge into the Snagas. 
the charge there from the Knights of Silver Swan. Yeah, doing a good amount of damage. Not a good job. He should route. 108 and they're still not even wavering. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why they are not. A uh, cab has broken through here, though. We are looking like we are in. But it is straight into a front line of archers. Oh, it's so, it's like, are these Carnage Horse Archers still alive? That is actually insane. These guys have been around forever. They are one of the, also a very good horse archer unit. Um, generally, it seems like horse archers in Dawn State is just top, top tier. But yeah, they uh, have been finally routed now. And yeah, as you can see, all of a sudden, just everything started to disintegrate. Gondor is the final one standing. And all I have left is my elite cab. It's just trying to cycle. In. I got a good charge off there on the guards. And now going into, looks like, you know, looks at like more guards of him, like just, just everywhere. And then into Snagas. And the uh, pikes, yeah, trying to mop me up at this point. There's not much I can do. The uh, general's starting to mass route. But it was quite close in the end. I mean, there's 1,600 left, but most of those will be goblins and goblin archers at that. Um, there isn't actually much left. It's really just the elves and uh, some goblin bows, really, that are really, like, left. And it's a close, close battle. I really thought for, like, once we dealt with Dale over on this side that we, we had won it, to be honest. When we dealt with Dale and Erebor, I thought we had it. But I think the crash kind of came up to a bit, and I think maybe we could have been a bit quicker... Um, in dealing with the rangers um, when we had them tied down. But a valiant defeat nonetheless for Gondor there. And uh, yeah, like I said, we, this was part of my uh, stream that we did recently. Um, so I was playing in it as Gondor. I got some pretty good kills with the Cav. 275 with Knights of Silver Swan. 204 with the Ringler Veil Men at Arms. Uh, 238 with the uh, Gondor Sword Infantry here. Black Root Veil Archers, 127 kills. Gondor Cav getting 126 kills. 211 kills with the uh, Knights of Silver Swan. 220 with another Knights of Sil Silver Swan there. Some good kills, to be honest. 238 with the Gondor Swords. Oh, but yeah. Ring of Veil did well as well. 204. Very nice. Uh, Darwin in here, played by Cyrus the Great. Uh, yeah, unfortunately did decent, but some of the units did okay. His archers getting 226 kills on the lot with the uh, Lon Minwell. Seafarers, his Wanderers also did well here. 218 kills. But uh, yeah, not much else like did uh, too well. Bolk here playing his Khan was helping uh, me out, getting 121 kills with his Bane and the Seps General, 128 kills with the Carnish uh, Berserkers here, uh, his uh, Carnish Bowman getting 106 kills, 244 with the Carnish Sentries, and his uh, Horse Archers here, 266. Then we have Ike playing as the Eastlings, 182 kills with the Wards of Rune, 142 kills with the Locrian Macemen. Uh, 173 with the Runic Archers, not too bad there. Then we have Chicken Wolf playing as Imladris. 493 kills with these Noldorian Rangers, 439 with another one there. 296 with the Noldorian Swords, 387 with another one. Oh my gosh, Guards of Imladris, 278, 222. Elrond got 353 kills, and he's another Guards of Imladris, and he's still healthy. Insane kills. Archers did well, 181. Yeah, like Chicken carried with him just there i feel like karpov playing as erebor had a rough game against uh bulk cutting 182 kills with the uh, erebor axe warriors here and then um i mean well, let's see halberds did well 216 crossbows uh, 96 not really being optimized in this game unfortunately azan playing as dale outnumbered with cav really so his cav did not perform well this one did well 184 kills but the other ones yeah just got outperformed and then outnumbered really. 100 kills with the uh, 110 kills with the marksman of Dale here. Uh, and his swords 109, 113. But yet yeah, nothing else really did too well. Eventually, uh, when, once I got in amongst his archers and surrounded his infantry, it just started to die. Then we had bad omens as the other. So Victor in that uh, duo of elves and goblins. Uh, 243 kills with the underground wardens here. 139 with another uh, with a spirit warrior. Uh, 264 with the Goblin Spearers here, probably the best, the bunch, 108 with the Goblin Heavy Archers, 107 and the Snagas getting 123, 125, 128, some good kills there. But those Javis just so cheap, but so effective. But there you go guys, that is today's 4v4 Dawn of Stays Battle, hope you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, comment, and check out the, the mods and sub mods as well, uh, definitely worth it. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.